Let us now explore uh, an excerpt from one of my messages, Discovering the Treasures and Purpose in God. And what I'm talking about is the fact that we are made of clay. This is based on the scripture 2 Corinthians chapter 4, where Paul talks about being pressed and crushed and struck down, but yet knowing that he holds the gospel, telling us all that we are made from clay, that we are earthen vessels. You know, when you study those early times, the well-to-do, the rich used materials such as ivory, glass, marble, and brass, and costly wood, they used those as their pitchers and they used them for bowls and wash basins and pots. But clay was not used by the rich and well-to-do. This is letting us know that God can use the most feeble, the most weak, the most humble person to hold his word and to bless and to give that person, to endow that person with gifts and talents and treasures. The gospel is the treasure. It is a divine light. And you know, our bodies are made of clay, yet we have the treasure of God's good news within us. And this shows us that the superior power of this treasure belongs to God and it doesn't belong to us. Paul says in 2 Corinthians that he was hard pressed, perplexed, persecuted and struck down. But yet he lived, yet he rised. You see, all of us at sometimes feel hard pressed, perplexed, persecuted and struck down. But there is a treasure within our clay vessel. It is God's word and God's power. There is something precious inside of you. Your dreams, your talents, your God-given gifts, your talents, your testimonies. Those are your treasures. And it's time to let your light shine. There is a diamond inside of you. You know, when you think of your valuable treasures... You usually put them in a jewelry box, a vault, and some people even put them in safe deposit box. They want them to be in a protected place. A jar of clay is fragile and it's easily broken, but yet God put his word, his gospel, his light, his joy, his power within us, a jar of clay. And we are flawed and we are chipped and we have cracks in our pots. You know, we are not made of gold or silver. We're made from the earth. We are made from clay. We are imperfect. A jar of clay is not a vessel of great worth or monetary value, but a rather common, ordinary vessel. And you and I are a common, ordinary, earthen vessel, fragile and cracked, but yet God can do extraordinary things through ordinary people. The light and glory of God shines through the cracks of your earthen vessel. In other words, those cracks in your life, divorce, sickness, illness, setback, trauma, drama, uh, a, a bad childhood, a bad marriage, a bad life, addiction, abuse, those cracks in your vessel allow God's light to shine through because God gets the glory when you are redeemed and restored and resurrected. This is what our life is all about, an earthen vessel. And with the cracks, no, we're not perfect. We have cracks. We got issues. We have idiosyncrasies. We've got flaws. We have sin. We fall back. We have setbacks. We're imperfect, but yet God can use you mightily. I want to tell you today that God can do a new thing in your life. But first, you have to get rid of the clutter, the fear, the limited thinking, low self-esteem, bitterness, poor choices, and clinging to what seems familiar, safe, and comfortable. It's time to get closer to the potter and know that God has you in his hands and he's shaping you. And whenever you see clay being shaped, it's thumped, it's beat, It's stirred around fast. It's put into the oven. And you may feel like you're in the heat. Uh, The situations in your life, it's fire. And you're being beat down and pressed. But if you look at clay, after it has been shaped and pressed, something new is formed. 
out of the, the potter's hand. So if you feel like you're being beat down, pressed, crushed, persecuted on every side, know that God is shaping you into something new. You're going to have a new testimony. You're going to have a new breakthrough. You're going to have a new insight. You're going to have a new faith, a new strength, a new testimony. Hold on and don't give up. Don't give up even though you feel like God has said no to your dreams and your desires. Don't give up even though you feel like the doors are closing in on you. Don't give up. Just say yes to God's will, yes to God's way. Be willing to say yes in the midst of your circumstances. And remember that you can have joy in the Lord in spite of what's going on. That's different than happiness. Happiness means that something's got to be happening in order for you to have the emotion of happiness. But joy is something that comes from a place of gratitude. When you can say, yes, God, in spite of what I'm going through, yes, I will trust you. Yes, I believe. Yes, I will hold on.